using question groups in tests in Canvas to have Canvas pull questions at random from test banks so that each student gets a different test. We'll just go ahead and make a quiz here, the usual way. We'll call it sample quiz. And uh, we'll go right to selecting questions. Now we know that we can create new questions in a test by typing them in or copying and pasting them from some other source. Um, or we can pull questions, specific questions, from test banks that we have loaded into the course, selecting the questions specifically so that each student gets that question. Or, as we're going to illustrate in this video, we can have Canvas pull questions at random from selected test banks um, by using the question groups. So we'll create a question group by clicking on that button. We have to name the group. It doesn't really matter what we name it. Um, we're going to then need to link this group to a question bank. Note the individual article there, a question bank. Each group is associated with one question bank in Canvas. In Blackboard, you could associate a question set with more than one test bank, but you can't do that here. So you have to make a separate question group for each question bank that you want to use, which is no problem because you can make as many question groups in a test as you like. So let's pick a question bank. When we do that, it will show us out of the question banks in our course. I'll just pick this one which has, I'll note has seven questions, and I'll select bank. So now Canvas is going to pull from that uh, uh, question bank, and it's going to pick the number of questions for each student that we tell it to. There were seven questions in there, so I could do three or four of them. Um, we certainly don't want to select them all, or there'd be no point in making a question group and having Canvas select questions at random. It's going to pull them all anyway. Everybody's going to get the same questions. But if we pick only four or seven, uh, that's a reasonable, uh, gives us a reasonable bit of leeway so that no two students are likely to get the same exact set of questions, at least not too often. And they'll never know that they have done. And of course, we can set the number of points per question. And we've got it linked. We've uh, put in the numbers we need to. Now we just create the group. And the group is ready to use. We can make more than one question group, certainly, in a test. And if we want to pull, again, from more than one question bank, we have to do that. So I'll just call this group two. And maybe I'll pick two questions this time. And let's go to pick a question bank. I'll pick this one and select it. And uh, once again, save. Uh, oh, I can set the number of points per question and create the group. I could continue if I had more question banks in this course. I could continue making question groups to my heart's content. So you can, um, and you can. Uh, reorder the question groups in the test if you wish so that questions from a particular test bank will appear uh, at a certain point relative to other questions in the test if you wish or if you care. The We could also add manually created questions or we could pick certain questions specifically from certain test banks. So there's a question in a test bank that you really want every student to get. You can use find questions to do that. But right now, we're in pretty good shape. If we just save this, we have a, if we preview this, the first three questions are coming from the first question bank, and they have been randomly selected. And the last two are from the second question bank, and they have been randomly selected. Each student, again, should get a significantly different test from anybody else. There'll be some overlap, of course, but by and large, it will be quite random. 
and that's how to use question groups in Canvas.